Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and today I got another Photoshop CS3 tutorial and show you how to mess around with some cool text effects. And yeah, so I'm gonna delete this so I can show you guys from scratch here. Okay, and delete that, and delete that. Okay, so uh, first off, you're gonna actually want to have a uh, color fill type thing. You can see that tech world's still there. I don't want that there. Okay. I'll just move that aside for now. Okay, so you want a color fill, or you actually just want to set a background to your, you know, your main image. I forgot to set a background, so I just use a color fill. Whatever, up to you. You're gonna want to make a your background something that stands out against the text, and I'll show you what I mean. Cause I'm gonna show you how to do some text layer effects, along with like you know how to make it more to look 3D. And you're gonna see what I mean by using shadows and reflections. And I'll get into it as soon as, uh, you know, when we get to that part. Now, I think in CS2, they don't have the distort option. I'm not positive on that, but you can go ahead and try up to that step. And uh, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. Uh, okay, so you're going to well, first off make your text. And so I'm going to say tech world. And I'm going to want to use a white uh, white color of text. That's why I said you want to make a background that stands. Obviously, you don't want a white on white. So then I'll just blend in. But uh, I'll show you more what I mean on the shadows and stuff like that. Okay, so now that I got that, I'm going to drag that up to the middle. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy this to show you something. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to... I'm going to make that layer go away real quick. And I'm going to do Control t which is a free transform. And right here, and I'm going to show you right-click and go to Distort. I'm going to have to rasterize it. First, let me rasterize the layer. One second. Control T, get off of that. Okay, first off, let me rasterize it. Now we're not going to be using the rasterize, or you can if you want, but uh, the only difference in rasterizing is when I go to distort, and you see I pull it out. It's going to add those extra pixels. It's kind of jagged. You know that looks pretty cool, but it is kind of jagged as you see there. It's really jagged because it's adding extra pixels because I'm you know really really stretching it out. Now I hit enter. And it does kind of do a little job of kind of adding that blur and kind of, you know, it still needs to look a little clean. I mean, if you compare that to that part, there's a little blur in there. So, you know, how do I make that more clean cut? Now, that's where converting it to shape comes in. We're not going to use the rasterize. So, I'm going to delete this. Now, I'm going to go over here and put that back into play. Right-click it and go into convert to shape. Click that. Now, it's going to look a little jaggy. Don't worry. We'll fix that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to drag that right here. I'm going to make a copy of this layer. And then with the copy, I'm going to kind of go into Edit, tr Transform Path, and flip it vertical to make a, uh, what do you call that, a reflection-looking thing. And you know, you're going to want that to fade off because you don't want it to be totally solid or else it won't really look like a reflection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask, or layer, yeah, layer mask to vector mask. It's confusing. All you want to do is drag this into this right here, and it should make a layer mask, or you can just click it and it'll add that little block right there, which is a layer mask. And with that, I'm going to go into my gradient tool and make sure I'm on foreground to transparent, which is the second one. And I'm going to just shift and click upwards. And you're going to see how that black kind of comes in and shades it off. I just kind of want so transparent, so it's going to cut off the top of the letter to make it look more like a reflection. Now I'm going to, after that, I'm going to move that gradient tool because I don't need it anymore. And after that, you see, that's the transparency. That's why you use the layer mask, so it kind of hides that reflection in there. Now with that, now we can uh, distort it more to make it look cool. So what we're going to do is, you see that goes away because we are on both layers here. I'm just going to con hit control T. Now again, I shift and just click both layers to select them both. And that will make it all in one. And then you just want to right click and hit distort again. Just shift click one. So I'm going to click out here for you. Enter. I'm gonna click out for you. Click and then shift click and then you'll select both hit control T to go into the free transform window and just right click and hit distort now you'll notice when I pull out you don't get that type of you see that type of uh, edges are blurred or and stuff like that it's more clean because we converted it to a text shape so I can pull this out more as I like and I can you know pull that out like there and you know just add cool effects like that okay so now I'm gonna actually go like that and hit enter. So it looks clean, it looks the edges are straight, there's no, you know, jaggedy lines. That's what converting it to your shape does. Now let's say you want to add a shadow. You're gonna want to go to this one right here, the layer that actually has the text, you know, perfect, the one that has no uh, layer mask. And you're gonna want to copy this also. And just leave it as is. And then you're gonna want to change the color 
because uh, I'm gonna change it to black here. And don't worry. Now I'm gonna take this also and put it in. Make sure it's in between the two. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna Control T this and do a distort and just pull it back. I hang on here. You see now this should be maybe maybe I should move this actually first. I want to make sure. Okay, yeah. So make sure the one that we're we're using the shadow is actually behind on the first one. So, uh, for example, this text right here is the one in the middle is going to be your tech world text right here. So I'm going to just click this all out. The text that you want in the middle part is just the you know the basic text we started with. The text you want on top is going to be your reflection. So this is going to be your reflection. So it's going to go reflection, your main body of text. And then your shadow is going to come in at the end, so I'm going to make that visible, and you can see that there. I'm going to hit Control T and just kind of extend the shadow. I'm oh, sorry. I'm on the wrong layer there. And if ever you want to get out of the free transform, just hit Enter. Control T to get into it, and I'm just going to extend the shadow and pull it down more. And then there you go, so you have more of a sh cool looking shadow. And hit Enter. And it retains its uh, quality. It looks great. So now you have a shadow, a reflection, and again, make sure you keep your reflection on the top, your main body of text in the middle, and your reflect, uh, your shadow on the bottom. Now, to make it look more cool, you can take the opacity of the shadow and kind of just drag it down. And I'm just going to do that. So, And then there you go. You have more of a shadow type of effect. And that's how it all turns out. So again, let me, if you want me to zoom in for you, where is the zoom tool here. So you see that shadow looks kind of out because it's not transparent. And you have the reflection cut off. And you can do this any text. It makes it look really, really cool. Again, it all depends on your background color and your text colors. And you can move it around as you like. So you can move the shadow around. And this is all after converting it to a shape and not using a rasterize. And it retains all its quality based uh, effects. So sorry if it got a little confusing. Just remember, convert it to shape and don't rasterize the layer. And make sure you always have your main body of text in the middle, your reflection on the top, and your shadow on the bottom. And yeah, so, sorry if it was too confusing. I'm trying to make it as simple as I can. Uh, just follow the steps I do in the video, and it should work. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next week. Next week, sorry. Catch you next video. I'm getting used to saying that from the podcast. Thanks for listening, guys. Don't forget to check out the site, www.adrianstech.com and tutgeek.com. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, any questions, concerns, shoot them over to adrianstech at gmail.com.